So, find a point on this line that is closest to 0, 3. So what I want to first do is put a coordinate 0, 3. There's 0, 3. Okay, and then I also need to write this equation. I need to graph that. So what that one start at 2 down. And when I go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. So that right there is f of x. So what this question is asking for is where on this line will I have a dot that's closest to that? Some of you could think of a logical way of doing this. We're going to use some calculus to do it, but some of you could kind of figure it out pretty good or guess about where it's at. So I want the minimum, the closest, it means the minimum distance from here to the line. So can you tell by visually it's somewhere around here? Isn't somewhere around here going to be the closest to that blue dot? Now when I say distance, isn't there some called distance formula on a set of axes? And don't I want the closest, the minimum distance? So don't I want a line, kind of looks like this, and I'm going to hit the line over here, and don't I want a minimum distance? Now, what would be the, the coordinate of that red dot? Do you understand that red dot would be x comma f of x? Just think about that. Isn't that red dot comma x, wherever you're on the x, and want the output be f of x? Okay, so I want the minimum distance of that red line. Okay, to find that, you need to use distance formula. Distance formula is the square root of the change in y's plus the change in x's. Okay, it's going to be the change in y, so change in y plus the change in x. Now, you might wonder, where did I come up with that? It, it is a formula. Let's say logically where that formula comes from. Could I draw a little right triangle over here? Watch this. Watch this. I can draw a little right triangle right here. Can you make a little right triangle? And wouldn't that right triangle be Pythagorean theorem? Yeah. Do you see a right triangle here? Can I call this like A, B, C, A squared plus B squared equals C squared? If I square root this, don't I make this formula? Do you see the formula? Isn't A your change in X? Isn't A, if you call A right here, isn't this your change in, sorry, I said it wrong. Isn't this your change in Y? Remember, delta means change? Yes. And B, isn't B the bottom? Let's do it in blue. Wouldn't this be change of X? Yes. Got it? So wouldn't this be delta Y, delta X? Isn't it really Pythagorean theorem in disguise? Yes. Okay, just think of distance formula or whichever way you want. You could do this one, but we're going to use distance formula. But here's the question. How is, what is the change in y? So how much did this change by? Well, didn't it start at 0? And didn't it go to x? So to find the distance between 0 and x, isn't that x minus 0? Just think about that. Don't you take the change means subtract the x's. I subtracted the x values here. Can I also subtract the y values? Can I also go f of x minus 3? They're trying to find... Oh, I did that backwards, didn't I? Dang it. Here's y. Let's go back. The change in y... I said that wrong. So, the change in y... Isn't it this one right here? Isn't it the change in y... Isn't going to be f of x minus 3? The change in y is going to be f of x minus 3, and the change in x is going to be x minus 0. Does that make more sense? The change in those is right there. The change in these is right here. So we're changing y and changing x. Does it matter which one goes first if there's a plus in between? No. But with this is the change of y, this is the change of x. Now, can you replace f of x with something? Yeah. What is f of x? It's right there. 
So isn't this going to be x minus 2 minus 3 squared plus what is the second piece going to be? What's x minus nothing? Isn't that x? Okay, let's keep going. Won't this become x minus 5 squared plus x squared? All right. Now, could that be an okay formula? Could I minimize this formula, find the minimum distance? Yes, but could it be easier to simplify the inside if we're going to take derivatives to find critical numbers? Can you see how the inside cleaning up could really help? So I'm going to do a little bit more simplification. That becomes x, this right here, becomes x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus x squared. And then can I combine those? So I have the square root of 2x squared minus 10x plus 25. So that right there, all of this work, I finally got an equation. All that just for the equation. Now we want to find the minimum of this equation, the minimum distance of that red line. Is it kind of annoying how much work you have to do just to start the problem? How do you find the minimum of this. Now we're going to take derivatives, find critical numbers, check to see if it's a minimum, plug it in, and then we're on the way. So let's find the derivative of this. To find the derivative, whoa, well, the derivative of this, well, you should notice that's a one-half power around this. So d prime is equal to bring the one-half power out front. Drop the power by 1. And what goes inside is the same piece. So the 2x squared minus 10x plus 25 stays on the inside. And then we take the derivative of the inside and multiply it by, it's a chain rule, we get 4x minus 10. So again, this is a 1 half power. Bring it out front. Drop the power by 1. Leave the inside. Take the derivative of the inside. And now we want to simplify this. So d prime, or the derivative of d, is equal to, well, we have 4x minus 2. I'm going to pull a 2 out of, sorry, 4x minus 10, and I'm going to pull a 2 out. Are you okay? That's 2x minus 5, the top. Don't we have the 2 on the bottom still? And don't we have a negative square root on the bottom? So won't that square root 1 half power go to the bottom? As follows. So that's what we have so far. Do you see the twos canceling? So we now have the derivative. And we now need to find critical numbers so we can find where it's the smallest. To do critical numbers, don't you set the derivative equal to 0 or undefined? So where is this equal to 0 or undefined? Well, you set 2x minus 5 equals 0. That's where it equals 0. And where it's undefined is the denominator. Now, so we're setting the denominator equal to 0. Now, also, is it also undefined where the square root gets negatives inside? Yeah. Is it also an issue? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going to kind of ignore that one for now. We're going to look more where these equals 0. So for the first one, are we OK this equals x equals 5 over 2, which is 2.5? Because isn't 2.5 a better measurement than 5 over 2? That's what it is. 2.5 is 5 over 2. OK, the other one, it doesn't factor, so we have to use quadratic formula. So x equals the opposite of negative 10 is positive 10. Square root of neg negative 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Now, what you'll notice here is right here, if that's a negative, can I, can I just cross it out? Do you remember that? If we square root a negative, when I cross that out, is that square root going to be a negative? Yeah. Won't that be a negative? Uh, yeah. So these are extraneous, or no solutions. Because what you're going to have is 10 plus or minus the square root of, that looks like it's going to be 8 25s, which is negative 200. So it's a negative 100 over 2 is what that's going to be, which isn't possible. Wait, 
Is it going to be a 2-4? So that's going to be gone. I did make a mistake. That should be a 2 right there, correct? So that should be a 4. Does that make a difference, though? No, no it still doesn't work. But, okay. So I cross out that answer. So only critical number. What are my only critical number? My critical numbers are just simply going to be 2.5. So 2.5 is my only spot that I might have a relative maximum in. Now, what we're looking for is a minimum distance. Now, since I only have one, is that probably going to be the answer? The odds are yeah. So you could get lucky and just go with that. But let's check. So how do you check to make sure it actually is the minimum? Now, again, it's very likely going to be. Second derivative. You can do second derivative test or first derivative test. Now look back at the function. How many of you want to take this function right here and do another derivative? Would you rather just do first derivative test? Yes. So let's verify. It's important to do this process just in case. So what we're going to do is we want to check both sides of 2.5. So can I check 2 and 3? Does that surround 2.5? So I'm going to do the first derivative test, I abbreviated. To do that, I'm going to find d prime 2 and d prime 3. I'm trying to find both sides and see if it changes. Now, when I plug it in, I'm plugging in this function right here, the derivative, and all I'm looking for is if it's negative or positive. So I have a fraction here. Okay, so watch what happens. When I plug in 2 to this, well, that becomes 4 minus 5. Isn't that a negative? And on the bottom, let's see what we get on the bottom. Well, let's see. When we get the bottom, well, isn't the bottom always going to be positive or undefined? But the square root, does it have to be positive? Yeah. Yeah. So can I just ignore that say it's positive? Because if it's not positive, it would error, right? And the square root is always positive, so can we guarantee the bottom's positive? So that's negative. And 3, when you plug in 3, what's 3? 6 minus 5, is that positive? Yeah. Positive over positive is a positive. So what does all that mean? Well, if I go from negative slopes to positive slopes, negative slopes to positive slopes, doesn't that mean it's a minimum? So do we just verify that this right here is a minimum? We just verify that's a relative min. Okay, so we're on the right track. Even though we kind of knew it, we kind of guessed it, it kind of made sense. Now we have to see, it to answer the question, sorry, let's answer the question. And, and sad how many people missed this because they don't answer the question. Go back to the question. We know that's what we're looking for, we know this is it. This is it, okay. But the question asks, find a point that is closest. That is the x value of the point. How do you find the point on this function? You plug it in. So be careful on that. It's so annoying when you miss it on a test because you didn't finish it. You did all that work, and you still have to do this, which is 2.5 minus 2, which is 0.5. So what is the point? Not the point of the problem, but the point on the graph. The point on the graph would be right there. There is my answer right there. Be careful to answer the question. It wants a coordinate. Okay, my graph is terribly drawn, but if I drew it correctly, does that look about 2.5.5? That looks about where it should be. Isn't it look like a 90 degree angle right there? We could verify that, but right now we are just finding to find the minimum distance would look something like that, and here would be the coordinate.